Now, after you've gone through all the databases that I've showed you so far, the different uh, industrial databases, or if you just have to write a, a paper about a specific topic, not necessarily discussing an issue about business, but just a general topic, you want to use books and articles. Okay, because for industrial research, that's your last step. That's your last net before not finding anything. It's like your safety net. If you don't find it there, you're out. Or if you have to write a paper about a topic, like let's say just a, a general concept, like uh, you know, uh, motivation or leadership or any one of those topics that are out there in the business world, then you have to use articles. And I'll show you how to do that. And of course, there are many different kinds of articles and there are many different kinds of books. I put all of that stuff in the label of like text and research, okay? Now, the four, the four things that you could use books and articles for, there are like four broad searches that you could do, is you could find out information about industries, right? Just so you can use the words in the North American Industry Classification System code, the NICE code. Uh, you have to watch out for jargon and that kind of like um, the professional words, the technical words, you have to watch out for that. Uh, you could use the name of a trade association. So if you go to, to an article database like ProQuest and you type in the name of a trade association, you usually get articles that are about the industry you're interested in. And that's like, that's a kung fu trick that saved me many, many times, right? Because when researchers and, and journalists mention a trade association, like very often does it have to do with the industry that you're that they, they're involved in. So that's why finding the trade association, as I've discussed earlier, uh, makes complete sense. You can also find market leaders, right? The big companies that operate in a field. Um, if you type their name into the article databases, uh, those are those are a great. That's a great strategy to find articles about the industry you're interested in, and you do that by looking through uh, Dun and Bradstreet's Million Dollar Database or Canadian Company Capabilities or all of the other um, all of the other uh, directories that we have at the library website. So that's the third thing is the market leaders. And then the fourth thing is just any subject term. So, you know, um, organic food, uh, solar power, that kind of like leadership, motivation, and then you find different sources. Now, you're gonna say, yeah, but you know, if I want a local pet store that's on, that only operates in Quebec, what's gonna happen? Well, what you should do in that case, like that's my example that I'm giving throughout the, these capsules. What you should do in that case is focus on a database that gives you more Canadian or Quebec content. ProQuest would be where I would go for that because they have more Canadian titles in there. If you're doing more of a research type paper and what you're hoping to find is peer-reviewed articles, and I'll talk about what those are in a second, uh, you have, that's what you have to use, right? Uh, if you want to find peer-reviewed articles, I would definitely use Business Source Complete from EBSCO, right? And actually, ProQuest and EBSCO are like the Burger King and McDonald's of the article world, if you, so to speak, right? They both make hamburgers, but they're slightly different, okay? So ProQuest and EBSCO are two major competitors who pit it out for selling aggregated databases the big databases with tons of articles in them to libraries and universities in different parts of the world. Uh, and we're actually very lucky to have both ProQuest business uh, databases and academic search, uh, business source complete, excuse me, business source complete from EBSCO. Those are the two main competitors for the business world for business articles. They're slightly different, and if you need a quick take on them, it's a lot more complex than that, but ProQuest has more Canadian and Business Source Complete from EBSCO has more research. Let's make it that simple. I'll go into them and give you some tips about how to use the interface, uh, but essentially that's the case. Uh, on the handout that I've been using throughout this session, the two-page handout, uh, lists a few others, right? For example, in ProQuest, there's a specific file, there's a subset of ProQuest that covers dissertations and theses. If you're doing a graduate degree, if you're doing a master's degree, a PhD, you could find other people's master's degree, master's uh, uh, dissertations and theses the, at the master's and PhD level, full text there. So what you want to do is see what other students and other researchers have written on the same topic in the past years, and you want to use, you want to read them, you want to use, uh, look at their bibliographies to make sure that your lit review is as complete as theirs, uh, which is, you know, usually why you would read a thesis is to use and build on their lit review, wink, wink. 
we all do that. Uh, and by the way, that's fine, right? Uh, you could you could use a, a thesis, look at the at the bibliography, and find those articles and books, right? That's another way, that's the old school way of finding articles and books, is from an existing bibliography, from a really interesting and relevant article, you find those sources. Everybody's addicted to keyword searching and databases because everybody knows Google, but the old school way, the real way, is the pearl of citation method. If you have a pearl in your hand, tug on the little line on the bibliography, and there's another pearl there, that's a, that's a a pearl necklace, so keep going. And each of the articles in the bibliography is probably exactly on the topic that you need it to be and probably very relevant because the author who's written the article has quoted them, so use that. That's the best way. If you have a relevant article in your textbook, in an encyclopedia entry, and that's what encyclopedias are for, and I'll get into all of that stuff. There's actually a whole theory about using uh, books and articles for business uh, research and for any research for that matter. So, uh, so that's, that's uh, some bit of, of general advice.